sister and her boyfriend are so obnoxious with her new camera. They've taken like a million pictures. She's only had it for a month. They've taken a million pictures oh already. And they post everything. That sounds Every terrible. Every single picture. Like they don't even pick out like the best one. There's like five duplicates of the same picture. Every picture they take, they post online. <laughs> Maybe and they're, they're just excited to share their love. They could shove that love down their face. <laughs> Well, I'm going to invent a camera that automatically posts the pictures you take directly online and make a million bucks off of people like that. It's a good business idea. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, if you move through their pictures fast enough, you can see them moving. Like, <laughs> a cartoon. Well, you don't look at them. Stop encouraging it. Uh, it's kind of hard when it's just in front of your face all the time like that. Yeah. Well, i got to get going. Oh, okay. Oh, are you going to be here tomorrow? Oh uh, no! I'm actually going to be gone all next week. Yeah, we're visiting Andy's parents. She hasn't seen him in like two years. Well, that's too bad. What am I supposed to do by myself for a week? Don't worry. I'll be back. It's just a week. I promise. I just don't think it's right, that's all. I don't think it's right to hit a child. You're not just going to be his friend. He needs to know where he stands so he doesn't do this again. You know how embarrassing... Can I not get through your head? Like, this is so... Look, why don't you let me talk to him? Andy, listen to me, buddy. You shouldn't be doing stuff like that to your teacher. I know. I know. She's your mom. Look, it's what's best for you. We discussed it. Andy, it's only gonna hurt for a second. I was just on my lunch break. Cool. You mind if I join you? Golly, I feel bad for that guy. I feel bad for the poor kid. <laughs> yeah, true. He's gonna catch the worst of it. Uh, so what's your name? Todd. And you're Sarah. How did you know that? Your name tag. <laughs> Unless you stole it. Which would be kind of weird. Uh, so do you work around here? Yeah. That building right over there. It's a web design place. What about you? That building right there. Oh, what do they do there? They sell electronic equipment. Nice, like what? Hell if I know, I'm just a secretary. <laughs> nice. You eat out here often alone? Yeah, I don't, I don't really get along with anybody at work. Do they hate you? No, actually, I'm a very pleasant person, but for some reason they just don't realize. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Shame. <laughs> uh, how about you? What are you doing out here? Uh, well, I sit in front of a computer all day, and then I go home and I sit in front of another computer and a television. So my girlfriend said I needed more fresh air in my life. So I sacrifice a half hour every day to the dreadful sun. Sounds like a rotten deal. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I gotta get going back now. Hey, um, listen, uh, it was really nice meeting you, and I'm out here alone most days. If you wanna, you know. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, see you tomorrow then. Yeah, tomorrow. I studied computer programming in college, but I didn't finish. Why not? Because I dropped out. <laughs> Any particular reason? 
Yeah, I chased a silly dream. <laughs> <laughs> That's not supposed to be funny. Uh, oh, okay, so why? Well, I wanted to make a video game. Because I love video games. I've been playing them my whole life, and then one day I was like, you know what, make your own video game. I even talked a few friends into working on a concept I had. Well, can I play this game anywhere? <laughs> no. I soon realized that making a video game is a lot of work, and that playing them are a lot funner than making them. But you know you gotta eat, you gotta work. So, I've been here ever since. Five wonderful years. <laughs> what about you, why are you here? I'm a writer. Really? <laughs> really. Have you written anything? I've written many things that uh, no one's ever seen or will ever see. <laughs> Why is that? I can never show anybody. I'm just too self-conscious. Every time I write something, I convince myself it's the worst thing on the face of the earth. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad. Listen, one thing I learned is that you have to show people your work or else you'll never know if you're any good. Eh, it's not that simple. It's hard to swallow, but it is that simple. Anyway, um, you can't do much with the degree I have. So, uh, my sister got me this job last year and, well, that's it. So this is who you'd be playing as. His name's the Nexus. His powers and abilities change depending on whatever suit he has on at the time, right? Okay. So you see here, like. Um, that sounds like Mario. No. Well, maybe just a little bit. I mean, the drawings are, you know, very different, but. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's just get it back into it. So you run around fighting these bad guys. You're looking for your lost love interest at the same time. Still sounds like Mario. <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be taken a little more seriously, okay? But it would have been awesome, trust me. Yeah, it's like Mario intensified with your dark and difficult stuff. Yeah, it would have been great. But we all soon realized how much of a daunting task it was, and then we all kind of lost steam. Is this something that you could have made a career out of? There's actually a lot of money to be made in independent gaming, but I didn't do it to get rich. I did it because I wanted to make something original, something real. I mean, look at that, that's straight from the heart. How long have you been with your girlfriend? Her name's Annie. Uh, almost two years now. How'd you meet? Mutual friends. <laughs> Sounds romantic. No, we didn't have some romantic first meeting. I didn't save her from oncoming traffic or anything. But they say that couples that do meet that way are usually the happiest. Well, yeah, because it's kind of boring not to have a story, right? I mean. You want to feel like the universe has brought you together. You want to wonder at the fact that everything that has ever happened in the history of time has led up to that one special moment of you meeting that person. And the odds are so astronomically against you ever meeting the true love of your life that you just can't help but feel like the luckiest person that has ever existed. Yeah. I see what you mean. But instead we met at a TGI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> well, that has this charm too. So here's the basic theory, okay? A uh, 40-year-old guy goes back in time to his 10-year-old self. Boom! Kills him. Okay. So then, how could he, that 10-year-old, then grow up to be the 40-year-old that goes back in time to kill him? The 
it's like it all unraveled itself. So, I think my favorite episode is the one where they were trying to kill that fly. Oh, I fucking hated that. Like, no, the, I mean, it's so silly and stupid. I hated it too. I, I hated it too the first time I saw it. But there's actually a lot of like, wood. So would he just die right then and there? Or That's it. That we don't know what would happen. Because it's like a, a paradox by definition is an impossible occurrence. But I mean, would you believe in parallel dimensions? What if it's just another whole parallel universe or something? You know? No, I, it's. No. All right, I gotta ask you. Why are you still rocking the flip phone? Well, I mean, I don't really need a new fangled smartphone for any particular reason. I mean, they're kind of pricey and sets. Yeah, no, that, this, that's true. This was state of the art when I first got it. This is so cool. They keep laying these things, like, in the first one, it's like, okay, so he goes back in time and becomes the father of the guy that sends him back in time in the first place, right? And then in the second movie, supposedly all of the technology that eventually becomes Skynet and the stuff that blows over and like, it all comes from that guy Drug Fon- cartel or whatever, and he gives him that want, that yeah, tequila. Oh, the tequila. Yeah, tequila. Tequila, tequila. <laughs> and there's, it was, it was poison, he even drank it. But the Terminator hadn't gone back in time yet when, like, it's like the technology exists and then you go back and that's what the technology comes from. Like, where did it really come from? And it's like, I don't even remember the first one hardly. So, I just remember I didn't see it. Did you read it? Yeah, I finished it last night. Well? I still like the first one better. I know, right? Hey, but hey, it was really good though. I was still engaged. I just don't know why you don't like to show anyone. Oh, spare me. You know, I gave it to Annie to read. Uh, she just had it next to the bed for three days. You would think she'd appreciate a literate boyfriend, right? Well, some women don't realize how lucky they are to meet a man who reads above third grade level. <laughs> Funny. I even gave her the first one to read and she, you know, she started it. And she set it down, and I haven't seen her glance at it yet. Well, uh, here's the next one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Probably gonna take me a little bit longer to finish this one, though. We're going to Santa Barbara this weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. Annie wants to visit her high school friends, and I have to go, so... Yeah, it does sound pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. All right now, well, I gotta get back to work. We beat her tomorrow? Yeah, for, for sure. Hey, you're late. Did you forget? No, I didn't forget. I just had a problem at work and I had to catch up. What happened? There's this little Asian guy I work with, and he always finds a way to screw everything up, and then I have to clean up his mess. Yeah, we've got a, um, a lady like that, a little old Jewish lady who does not know how to use a computer. I don't think she even knows what a computer is, but they're still hanging on to her. Probably waiting for her to retire. I mean, if they only knew how incompetent this guy is. And he's weird around everyone. He's a lot older than everyone, too. I have a list like that for like everybody that I work with. Do you have time to humor me? <laughs> yeah, um, sure, I could go over a few. Um, <coughs> there's the weird Jewish lady. There's my boss who pronounces his L's like W's. There's a uh, old guy with a creepy crush on me. There's this woman who spits when she talks. And then there's my sister. What's wrong with her? Nothing. That's the problem. She's beautiful, she's not that stupid, and everybody loves her. Jealous much? No. Well, uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> listening to myself just now, I guess I kind of am. How old is she? She's only one year older than I am. 
Is she married? Kids? No, not yet. She's pregnant now, which is why she's getting all this extra attention at work. Everyone just keeps coming up to her, congratulating her, and wishing her the best. It's so annoying. Well, what's wrong with that? If only they knew. This guy she's with. I mean, he doesn't beat her or anything, but they don't love each other, and now they're getting married just because they're having a kid. I mean, I don't understand how someone does that. Spend the rest of their life with someone they don't even love? Well, how do you know they don't love each other? I could just tell. I know my sister pretty well, and when I see her with him, all I see is sadness. They were getting ready to break up before she, she got knocked up. Uh, you shouldn't assume things about people, though. I mean, she's your sister. And she's having a baby. If anything, you should support her and tell her it's all gonna work out. But it's not gonna work out. She's gonna spend the rest of her life being miserable. And if they ever do, you know, separate, then her soul will have been crushed from living with him for so long. Well, I gotta get going back to work. <clears throat> will I see you next week? Yeah. So how was it? Was it as bad as you thought it would be? No, I actually had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. So you were off having the time of your life while I was stuck here by myself. <laughs> Do you have any idea how boring it was? Oh, I'm sorry I left you here all by your little self. But honestly, I'd do it again. It was fun. Hey, I really wanted to show you this, um... What's that? Oh, I meant to show you. It happened while we were at Annie's parents. It happened while we were at Annie's parents. Did she ask you? No, I asked her. She was really happy. Wait, so, so, so what happens now? Are you married? We're getting married in February. The rings were actually a gift from her parents. How did you decide? Well, I just feel like it was time, you know? We've been together long enough. We get along well. And you know, when I think about it, I can picture her being a really good mother. I mean, she has a nice job. Annie? What kind of question is that? Well, it shouldn't be a hard question. It's either a yes or a no. I... She really loves me and I really care about her. And I can't picture my life without her. But that's not love. That's just getting used to someone. You can't base the biggest decision of your life on that. You know what, you shouldn't assume you know how people feel about each other. I mean, how could you possibly know? Is there anything that I can say to make you think about this? I mean, what... What if I told you... that I... Love you. You know, ever since we met, I cherish these moments the most. This is my favorite part of the day, coming out here with you. So I think about while I'm working, 
Nothing but what jokes I'll tell. What stories I'll tell you. I even stopped eating. I mean, I've lost 10 pounds since I met you. But Annie's my life. I can't just throw that away. I mean, what did you think? That I would break up with Annie and you and I would move in together, I'd work on my game, you would ride and then we'd just live happily ever after?